Hey, welcome. My name is Timmy Maharis. I'm originally from Alaska and I am a graphic novel comic book artist. Uh, I'm on at the Baskin from Chickaloon Village. I was raised by my storyteller grandma, Catherine Wade, who's also our village elder, and my storyteller mother, Patricia Wade. Uh, I'm currently working on the Chickaloonies graphic novel with my co-creator, Casey, and we are here today to introduce to you our sequential storytelling strategy guide. Hey everybody, I'm Casey Silver, uh, and I'm one half of 80% Studios. Uh, Dimmy and I have been making comics together for uh, over a decade, and I'm a storyteller and writer, uh, artist and colorist, and together uh, we've created, um, along with Melissa Shaganoff, uh, the comic book Chickaloonies, and as Dimmy said, this is our kind of comic art workbook uh, to the secrets of how to tell stories. And so, uh, I'm Melissa Shaganoff. I'm Caribou and Fish Eater Clan from Night Diniana um, or Chickaloon Village. Demi's my cousin. And uh, I am a cultural consultant on, on this project, uh, working with Demi and Casey and, you know, sort of like the, the editing and cultural components of, of some of the, the stories. Um, yeah, happy to be part of the team. We created this workbook, Passing Down Knowledge. Um, from uh, elders to youth. And while we might not be elders, um, we have acquired uh, you know, some knowledge and uh, have learned a few things uh, over the years of making comic books and of telling stories. And we were fortunate enough to be taught by people. And we now wanna pass that along to students and kids of all cultures uh, who are interested in making art and telling stories and learning more about their own culture. The guide is broken down into two major components. The first part is kind of the fundamentals of drawing. And the second part is the more um, invisible language of comic books, which is the visual art of storytelling. And uh, we also have interactive um, exercises that uh, you uh, uh, prompt the, ch the students to um, apply the knowledge that they've been taught in each section. And it kind of reflects the different parts that Dimmy and I do uh, in 80% Studios. Yeah, I, the, the book is broken down. So it kind of guides you as a way to, it's almost like a journey of how to create comic books, how Casey and I create comics. Um, you know, it starts with um, some fun kind of like a story that, that enter, introduces you into the book, introduces you into the world. And then we take you on a, a lesson of how to approach drawing, how I basically uh, approach drawing from scratch, from the, the most basic of just learning how to draw shapes and drawing 3D uh, through, you know, constructing figures and, and making characters. And it's, it's uh, the fundamental lessons that I've learned that I, that I use to this day when I, when I do comic books. And uh, it sets a, a strong foundation for uh, a student or anybody that's using a strategy guide to kind of launch into creating comic books. And throughout the uh, drawing portion, we have uh, um, parts where the students can draw and with kind of my section of the book, which is the visual storytelling. And um, here's where we really try to impart um, the, the idea that just because maybe you aren't a great artist, doesn't mean that you can't tell stories and that we're all storytellers. And it's really just a matter of learning how to communicate that um, on the page and to your reader. And so it's got a lot of the, um, as I said, kind of the invisible art, how to guide the eye, how to organize your thoughts when you tell a story and how to uh, think visually when uh, you're creating a comic book. And um, the one of the uh, big exercises here, um, there are two main parts where you uh, learn from uh, museum objects and how that can help you uh, develop ideas. Uh, part of the strategy guide is figuring out, uh, you know, an avatar and every story needs a main character. Uh, for Chickaloonies, we kind of base the main characters off of ourselves and we feel like this app, design your own avatar page or portion of the, the strategy guide is an opportunity for the student to kind of look inward and pull a character or identify and uh, identify in themselves who they might be in a comic book world. Uh, it's an opportunity, I think, to like, you know, speak directly to the student and have them become the main character of their own story, so to speak. 
Yeah, and uh, so this exercise, it's also kind of to help students sort of visualize kind of their culture, you know, within these characters, you know, um, so we are using, you know, historical cultural objects, you know, to, to provide like a reference point, a starting point for the students to start building their character using cultural heritage objects as, as a resource, you know, and to really looking at the uh, museum collections as a resource, a library resource, you know, so they're able to pull out, you know, indigenous materials, indigenous themes, you know, um, so we are using, you know, historical cultural objects, you know, to, to provide like a reference point, a starting point for the students to start building the regalia of their characters, you know, the personality of their characters, and um, some of its like identifying features. Um, this will kind of like extend off into, you know, being able to use cultural heritage objects uh, you know, as as a sort of, uh, you know, first as, as a source, as a source to creating their story. So one of the things that we've learned uh, creating Chickaloonies and sort of building our own version of this world is pulling from traditional objects and materials. And we find that it's interesting and uh, fun visually to kind of remix these, you know, traditional forms of art and clothing and crafting into something that's a little bit more recognizable uh, in a modern sense. Um, for the avatar page, for instance, we have examples of how you can take, you know, beadwork or materials and apply them to uh, modern clothing or modern fashion. And it creates a very unique kind of character. And these characters will inform the world around them in your comic book story. Uh, we'll eventually kind of touch on some of that later in the strategy guide where we start using materials like birch bark as an example to uh, kind of show different ways that that it'll you know create the story in the comic book. Yeah, the the idea with the objects is to build a, a visual library. We as artists kind of use a lot of rev of reference, and the Learning Lab website is a great resource to be able to uh, find information about the objects. Not only just kind of uh, you know how materials and how they were made, but also through um, interviews with elders and get some kind of firsthand experience about what it was like to make these objects and how they were useful and necessary in the everyday life of the indigenous people who were using them. And um, the uh, big uh, um, uh, exercise of the book that uh, kind of the strategy guide is the finale of um, is to create a story. We prompt the students to create a story using an object. And for the example, we decided to use birch bark. And we uh, teach students how you can look at these objects and create a whole story around it. And for example, we have our two main characters, Moji and Yelly, as they go to um, the museum where they learn about some objects and they um, uh, go home and talk to their grandma about how they uh, learned about birch bark. And um, grandma suggests that they go and out to the forest with their cousin Valley, who shows them how to harvest the birch. Uh, the birch bark and uh, Melissa provided us with the cultural knowledge of how you specifically do that. So in a graphic way, we're able to impart this traditional knowledge to students um, visually in a way that might, you know, capture their attention and really get them to see the kind of practicality of how you can uh, include, you know, traditional knowledge into a fun new story. And um, all of that uh, kind of comes together as we guide students through it and then prompt them to create their own story using uh, one of the materials from the Learning Lab uh, website, which uh, we provide them with. So one of the things that we offer with the strategy guide is a live interactive workshop where Casey and I will use the, the birch bark activity at the end to kind of launch off and do a real time live demonstration of making a comic. Uh, we can't come up with this fun idea that, you know, after they've harvested some birch bark and they're headed back home, that they encounter a, a birch bark eating beetle like monster thing that will, will, that will chase them. And Casey and I use this as the, the starting point to kind of show how we come up with a comic book where Casey will do breakdowns and kind of, you know, guide the eye and create a comic book page. And then I can go in and actually design the monster. And, you know, we take prompts from the students and ask them details that they would like to see, you know, if it, you know, maybe the color or maybe what it looks like, or, you know, it just becomes very interactive. And we are actually able to demonstrate in real time live 
how they might approach doing their own comic book stories. Yeah, we're really trying to take the show them that the knowledge that we've given them throughout the strategy guide, how it can be practically applied. And again, to really have fun with it, to remix it, to think out of the box, to use their own experiences and through their own cultures and their own stories uh, to create something that is fun and new and exciting, uh, but uniquely theirs. You know, we really are inspiring students to find their inner storyteller and to express that through the medium of graphic novels. Uh, so, so with this this sequential guide, like a big takeaway is, you know, being able to use, you know, your indigenous culture as, as, uh, as, as a library of of creating, you know, stories of of rethinking of of what your stories are and how you can make your own. You know, um, this strategy guide really kind of shows you how you can use cultural heritage objects as well as, you know, lessons embedded in, in our stories um, and Atna language as well. You know, how you can use all these things to build a world and, you know, really, really kind of, uh, you know, get your imagination going with how you can create your, your own Indigenous stories. So 80% Studios invites you to join us on this journey of storytelling to discover who you are as, a, as an artist and as a creative person and to be able to express those ideas uh, through the medium of graphic novels and to be able to celebrate you know, the uniqueness that is your culture and where you come from and share that with those around you and to learn from uh, your elders and, from, uh, and to collaborate with friends uh, to create new stories that uh, will hopefully inspire other people to create stories as well. Yeah, the strategy guide is pretty dense. We put a lot of information in there and we hope it's something that you can use and return back to. Uh, you might not pick up on everything that we're teaching the first time around, but it's available online for you to download and re-download. Uh, we hope that you take the packet and the workbook and just draw all over it, draw in it, scribble all over it. I found as an artist that I did some of my best work in the margins of my homework or lesson guides in school. Uh, that's kind of the idea that we had here with this is that we really want this to become something that's uniquely yours and uh, you know, scribble in it, learn to draw in it, uh, take what you will from it. But we really think that you know, this is something that can, can be a foundation for new storytellers. Um, and you know, it, it could really be helpful in, in becoming an artist and or a storyteller. Uh, thank you so much for your time, Chanan Sagu and uh, Ahana. Yeah, thank you guys for checking out the strategy guide and uh, we hope to be attending a workshop with you soon.